bit more of a serious one now. How do you want your run to affect people back home in the UK? I mean, honestly, it's totally bananas to me that the amount of uh, like people who have been following and come out to support and stuff. I think uh, it would be awesome to get people moving more. I'm a big believer in sport um, in general, um, doing wonders for people's lives and, and um, it changed my life. So I'd love, uh, love for more people to be, you know, inspired or motivated to go out running or taking part in any kind of sport. A question from BBC News. It would be great to hear a bit about the charities you're supporting, who you're raising money for and how you funded the challenge. Yeah, so um, kind of like what I said just uh, about the sports stuff, um, the running charity work with for our whole goal is basically to use the power of running to try and empower young people who are going through hard times uh, to, you know, instill kind of values on them that can live throughout their life. Like the, the running gives us ourself and take one step at a time. So we kind of use that to, to, to do work with young people. And then we've got Sandblast as well, who do a bunch of work in this, uh, the refugee camps um, in this, the Tindouf in Algeria. It's one of the biggest refugee camps in Africa, but not very many people know about it. Uh, so they run educational and cultural programs there, which is really cool as well. We, I think, how many, how, do you know how, what the latest figures are on the donations? So 700,000 pounds has been oh, raised right. so far on your yeah. fundraising page. Amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah. What's, what's the target? We're, up, we're going for a million. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, another question from Christian Fuller, BBC News. How many pairs of hokers or hockers have you been through? I don't actually know the number. I think it's about 30. I think it's about 30. Yeah. That's what Sam told me. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to flip back to, to Lab Bible now. Um, best movie of all time. Best movie of all time. Um, uh, I quite like Fight Club. Big yeah. Fight Club fan. Interstellar. Like Interstellar. Uh, there's re uh, About Time. Really good movie as well. I'm, I'm yeah. Good one. Uh, what's the scariest moment from the mission? Uh, the scariest moment was uh, in the Congo when I was on the back of a motorbike thinking I was about to die. <laughs> um, yeah, getting driven into the jungle. That was that was pretty nuts. Uh, this question from Gibstar. What what was the one like sort like main source of motivation that you had? When things were really hard, was there one thing that your kind of mind went back to that helped you more than anything else? Um, I think like my the deepest level of motivation for me is um, like legacy for, I guess you know, you know like my family, what what this uh, you know like the cook name, mm. um, and you know like when I think about when I have kids and um, what what I want to pass on to them. Uh, that's, that, that's like the deepest level of motivation for me when times are tough. Another question from the Lad Bible audience. Has it been easier or harder than you imagined? Uh, definitely harder. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I knew it was going to be hard, but I, was, I knew I was also going into the unknown. So I had no idea really of how hard it was going to be, but it's safe to say that it uh, surpassed all expectations. No doubt. Uh, Natalie Roman from the Spanish news agency EFE. What do you think about when you're running? Is it time for some introspection, evaluate your life, or just a mind-body disconnection? <laughs> uh, uh, all three. Um, yeah, I, I do a bit of everything. Um, sometimes I will just zone in for hours at a time and not really think about too much. Uh, other times... You know, there's a big operation 
behind the scenes going on here. So, so there's a whole business, um, you know, there's people that are filming stuff and we're making content and we've got sponsors. And so there's a lot of decisions that need to be made, like logistical stuff um, as well is really tricky. We've got borders to cross all the time, 16 different countries we've been to this year, um, different routes, all of this kind of stuff. So there's, there's always something, there's always a problem to solve. Blood Bible again. How do you wash? How do I wash? Not very often. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have a, a shower kind of thing on our four by four. Fill out with water. We can shower on that. But also, you know, like rivers and bucket baths and lakes and, you know, get the old hotel when we find one. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Yeah, baby wipe shower. Have a little cup of boiling water sometimes and shower with that do the basics you know hit the vitals <laughs> um what are you going to order as soon as you get home oh. i can't lie i'm really looking for you know don't just big garlic and a dip oh. that's going to be good it might be the last question unless we've got any more that come in through the chat um another one from from give star where where can people donate so you can go to give star project africa or if you want the quick link just in my social media bios um on instagram twitter tiktok youtube then you can find the link there straight to the give star page brilliant thank you russ if there are no more questions, no more new questions, we'll and uh, thank you everyone for joining. Perfect. Uh, I think that was the uh, end of the questions uh, with Russ Cook, of course, known as the hardest geezer who uh, finished his uh, run uh, across the length uh, of uh, Africa yesterday, some 9,941 um, miles. Uh, he said it was totally bananas, the extent uh, of media interest uh, that he's, he's got, and he'd like to hope that uh, he might help to get people moving. He loves sport, and it'd be great to inspire others to do the same. In that uh, press conference, we learned that so far he's raised £700,000 for charity, which he described as amazing. He is, though, still going uh, for more, aiming for £1 million. He's used about 30 pairs of trainers uh, during uh, his run.